Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Here's the situation, Gemini. We've got Justice, the Two of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So, um, it kind of looks like a divorce, Gemini. Justice card is uh, the divorce itself, and uh, the Two of Swords is the word no, or no more, and uh, the Ten of Pentacles is marriage. So. Divorce, no more marriage. <laughs> right? That's how I'm uh, interpreting this right now. Or another way I can... The only other way I can interpret this is somebody was trying to reconcile with you. Somebody was apologizing to you. Uh, somebody was trying to get back into your good graces, but you said no. You said nope, no more. I've uh, had it enough from you. But most likely this was a divorce. Um, and the King of Cups is either a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces you are dealing with, or the King of Cups is your significant other. It's just an indicator of your love interest. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I don't see anything critical happening here. Well, divorce is never uh, a pleasant uh, event, right? But uh, you knew this was coming, you knew this was going to happen eventually, and it finally did for you. So, I don't think you were uh, in too much of a pain here but maybe you were I don't know I just don't see it here um, alright so let's take a, a look at the next spread um, actually my second spread is usually an advice spread and uh, in the advice spread I usually talk about what you need to do do you need to get back together if they try to get back together things like that but I think uh, this was final here, you know, justice was served, there is no going back here. So uh, I'll skip right to, to uh, spread three. Uh, spread, the third spread is all about uh, new love for you. Alright Gemini, so this is the second aka third spread. Let's see uh, if there's anybody better suited for you coming towards in uh, August. We've got the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, another Gemini, obviously. Or you could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So we do have this Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is either a uh, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or this is the Love Interest, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person is very emotional, very loving, often wears their heart on their sleeve. Um, and to be honest with you, it, ki it kind of reminds me of your monthly uh, reading, Gemini. So go check it out. The Queen of Cups was also present there in uh, more than one spread. Um, so yeah, you are dealing with this Queen of Cups and uh, if you are going to feel stuck in the beginning of the situation, in the beginning of this relationship, or this is your energy right now uh, that we see in the Eight of Swords. You're stuck, you just don't know what to do next, uh, you could be kind of depressed about it, you could be thinking about different things, just not sure what to do next. But then uh, it will quickly turn around. Uh, the Knight of Swords, I think, is the energy of uh, either you meeting this new person and uh, it, this relationship will just take off or this is uh, the energy of this person coming towards you right the knight of swords is the fastest knight in the deck and the chariot is also all about moving forward you know full steam ahead it's gonna take off like a rocket um, it's also possible that the two of you will be uh, meeting while traveling or if you meet online you'll want to go see each other, go uh, spend some time together, but uh, there will be some distance between the two of you, so you'll have to uh, literally travel to see each other. Um, 
but there is still a lot of uh, moving ahead energy. You're leaving your stuck situation behind, you're leaving your thoughts behind, uncertainty behind, and you're moving forward with this person. All right, so yeah, it's going to be a one heck of a change for you. So be prepared, fasten your seatbelt, <laughs> figuratively speaking, and literally if you're traveling to see this person. And uh, yeah, you've got some new love coming towards you. So um, happy for you, Gemini, and uh, congratulations. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.